Hey there Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly astrology and tarot forecasts. So essentially the weather and the traffic for the week of February 26th, 2024. On the 26th and the 27th, we have Mercury, the Sun, and Saturn all conjunct in Pisces, your seventh house of partnerships and closest one-on-one -on -one connections. So this rules your boyfriend, girlfriend, BFF, business partner, roommate, husband, wife, and pretty much anyone that you have a close one-on-one -on -one involvement with. And this is all about full stops and turnarounds. And so there is likely going to be something that comes up around a joint pursuit, something that you have going on with a partnership that does need to come to a full stop. There may be something that's discovered about a flaw, a danger, or some kind of unsound area in the plan itself or in the way things are set up or running that cannot be allowed to proceed as it has been set up. This will frustrate a lot of people, but it's very important that this gets discovered and comes out in the open. And because if things are just kind of left to carry on the way they have carried on with whatever this matter is that comes up, it would only get worse. On the 29th, we've got Mercury in Pisces in that seventh house of partnerships, forming a beautiful sextile to Jupiter in Taurus, your ninth house of expansion, growth, big moves, big travel opportunities, as well as official dealings, so government and legal matters, and your spiritual path and practice. And this is all about swift setups and switches. And there is likely going to be a development around a partnership or a partnership getting crystallized that is going to speed up some kind of big ambition being realized as it relates to a big move, travel plan, business expansion, or maybe something in your private life or your spiritual life because of this, right? Kind of switching a road to something golden. So that is what I've got for you all when it comes to your astrology. Let's move on and have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your traffic with the tarot. All right, Virgo, it's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot traffic. Let's just get the selenite here. It's been cleansing the cards and let's uh, charge them up and see what's in store for you. One sec. All right, money, work, personal path and well-being irrespective of other people, home and family, love and romance, community and friends, and your guidance for the week. Okay. So for money, you've got the Eight of Wands reversed. And so with the Eight of Wands reversed, this is usually a sign of something that may be good 
or promising is coming forward the wrong way or that it needs to be on a different road or it needs to be reworked. Um, and so there could be news of something with a financial plan or priority or goal almost feeling like it's um, coming up short or it's slowing down or it's not presenting us with what we want to see. This is all about getting ready to take a big left turn. There may be something that comes up where you need to be ready to cancel something that you've put in motion in favor of something else. You might need to be ready to adjust a course with a project or something you've got going on with work, or again, a financial plan or arrangement that you've been gearing up towards. With the Eight of Wands reversed, the people who do the work and change their courses when these things come up will prosper because they will actually find out that they're better off following that guidance. Um, if nothing happens or you don't do any of the work, uh, well, you might end up falling up short. For your work life and career, you've got the Five of Cups upright. This week, you might need to be ready to take on a situation where a mess from the past needs to be cleaned up now. Now, this could be an old disappointment, an old hurt, an old loss, or an old defeat of yours or another person's. Sometimes the Five of Cups can indicate something old that still affects the present. And I do want to stress that, and I often feel called to stress that with this card. We're not really dealing with any kind of new issues when this card shows up. Not a new failure, not a new loss, not a new disappointment, but something old that could still be taking over. And with the Five of Cups, this could be your problem to deal with, something that relates to you, or this could be something that is put on the table for you to deal with as it relates to others. For your personal path and well-being irrespective of other people, You've got the Ten of Swords reversed. This week, you are getting a chance to escape a lot of situations that are not good for you at all, right? The Ten of Swords reversed is all about dodging a bullet, getting off the hook, escapes, get out of jail free card is what it is. And you need to know when to take the outs when they're afforded to you or change gears when you get a chance to change gears. Sometimes the Ten of Swords reverse can show up as a warning. We might not necessarily see the outs, or we might try to stick something out for too long. We may stay somewhere we need to depart, or we may try to finish a plan, a deal, or uh, a negotiation, or a work in progress that's actually going to fail us if we don't take the outs that we have. And so pay attention, Virgo. All of us are going to be getting some lucky breaks, but... We want to make sure that we, again, do the work of taking those breaks. For home and family and your living situation, you've got the Nine of Pentacles reversed. And the Nine of Pentacles reversed is indicating something unsound in maybe a big project or a big pursuit or maybe even a, a connection is coming up to be sorted out. The Nine of Pentacles reverse can often indicate where an investment is not or will not pay off, whatever kind of investment it is, or that there could be issues involved in a connection as it is entangled with a plan or an opportunity that need to be detangled and untangled. This is also likely going to show up here where some of you might have to be ready to um, stop or reverse a, uh, a financial or uh, working social relationship uh, or, or pursuit joint effort that you've got with a family member or, uh, or a family friend because it's not going in the right direction and it, it, it's, it's not something that's going to serve at all. For your love life and romance, you've got the Four of Wands upright and the Four of Wands is all about 
success. It's all about accomplishments. It's all about celebrating a victory, celebrating uh, an achievement, crossing an important milestone. Now, for a lot of you who are single or are available to new people, the Four of Wands is indicating an ideal match opportunity, something that is going to put you in a space where you and maybe the person that you're meeting, or if this is somebody you're already talking to, you and the person you're seeing, are going to come to an understanding about how to get to a goal or maybe a relationship ideal that you both have in mind, that you've both been working on, whether or not you have already let that other person know. For those of you who are coupled or are married or, again, maybe just seeing somebody, the Four of Wands is indicating an important threshold is getting crossed in this relationship story. Now, this could come with an accomplishment that is being, again, taken care of or, or being realized this week by you, your partner, or both of you, or this could be some kind of uh, shift in terms of a path that you have been on or a partner has been on that is locking in uh, a destination or something that you want for both of you. For your social life and friends, you've got the strength card upright, and so it does look like an ally, uh, a personal ally or even a professional ally might be helping you in fixing something or rebalancing something that could use the help this week. The strength card is all about satisfying and meeting needs that have not been getting met. Maybe this is about making something stronger, more robust, or more useful, or more powerful. Or this could be changing something to become more high performing. Now this could be a tool, this could be anything that you have been engaged in with this person, or maybe it's something that you're doing for the community. This is also about, uh, again, an unmet need or an unmet, uh, yeah, let's just say an unmet need is also going to be getting met through your community or a friend or an associate. And finally, for your themes or your guidance for this week, you've got the Knight of Wands reversed. The Knight of Wands reversed is saying, slow down, chill out for a second. A lot of things this week are coming up for the good and for the not so good, but a lot of the not so good is coming because of hasty decisions, impulsive, rash decisions, maybe not shopping around, not deliberating, and we want to make sure that we are not running in full steam into everything that we do have a bit of grounded, sane, common sense when it comes to certain things. Sometimes the Knight of Wands reverse can also indicate you need to change where you're putting your enthusiasm, right? Things are going great in the personal life and in the social life, and you're even getting a lot of escape opportunities. But if you are passionate, enthusiastic, or sentimental about things that are bad for you, with whatever's maybe coming up with that Five of Cups or the Eight of Wands reversed, or even the Nine of Pentacles reversed, you're going to get screwed. So make sure that you are also um, maybe changing how you're investing yourself in everything that's going on around you too. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.